say, uh, first of all, it's definitely because all uh, the good racks we have down here in the caves and the beautiful water and the weather. And definitely the Maltese people down here. The way they're really open and uh, so easy to come to Malta and just join the local people down here. They're really open and very nice and treating everybody the way. So when you come to Malta for once, you definitely just fell in love with it. We all went down here last year for two months, and I've never been on Malta before, and absolutely just fell in love with it, and uh, go back to Denmark and sold everything, and then simply just moved to Malta because this is the paradise. so I can uh, test wood for Cheritos, it calls the woodworms or the shipworms. So I actually do that in Denmark in the winter time. I'm doing uh, the harbor testing, what piles have been eating up from the worms. So the harbor master knows exactly which pile he has to change and for how long they can still stand there. And I yeah, got the pattern on that and that's basically what I'm doing in the winter time. And then summertime enjoying down here with happy people. And yeah, commercial diving, so diving, diving, diving all the time. I'm living here in Maliha, perfect spot just to the sea. So first thing I see when I stand up in the morning is the ocean. Oh, I can stand up in the morning and decide I'm going to walk to work or swim to work. It's 500 meters, so <laughs> perfect. My main discipline is, uh, is the depth, actually. I, li I like to go deep, it's a constant weight. It's a constant weight with fins. So my, my personal record in, in static is, uh, is uh, 7.53, seven minutes and 53 seconds. Static is, is, a, is a funny discipline. Because in, in one sense it's the most simple discipline, but in, in another sense it's a very mental challenge to do static. But, uh, but our static is for me the main thing. This is where you learn how to hold your breath, how to control your breath, how to stay calm even when things get difficult. When your body starts to react and giving you signals that you, you, you have to breathe, you have to, to control that and, and still stay calm. So that is for me the, the basic discipline, that is static. Yes, my name is uh, Jesper Stekman. I come from Denmark. I am the current world champion freediver. I never think that I should go to 90 meters or 95 or 100 meters. I always think now I'm diving in time. So I'm diving for maybe two or three minutes. Uh, anyone can gain from, from free diving. It's, it's, it's not only a, a very competitive sport, it's also a, a way of life really. It's, it's a way of uh, finding your way to yourself through your breath and also through breath holding. It's a, it's, it's a very nice feeling to, to take a pause in, in the breath. Especially if uh, you want to, to start in the water, you should always uh, find an instructor. But the basic thing we, we do when we start freediving is uh, learning how to breathe correctly and, and how to do small breath holds and how to feel comfortable with that. That's the, that's the main thing. So we, we start doing, for example, some, some long inhales and exhales, uh, learning how to use your uh, diaphragm for breathing and, and different uh, uh, levels of, of breathing exercises. This is what we start with and then slowly we go to the pool and get adjusted and feel safe and comfortable in the pool and uh, when people are ready we go to the ocean and explore the underwater world there.
Free diving is meditation, really. Uh, I never learned how to meditate, uh, but I guess I am because uh, when I come up from a dive and if it's a very, very good dive and people ask me, how was it? Uh, if it's a good dive, I cannot tell them because it has just been there and, and, and it's in my body and in my soul, but I cannot really tell anything about it. When I'm diving, it's like uh, um, I'm everywhere and nowhere at the same time. It's like uh, I dive into the ocean and the ocean kind of hugs me and I, I, everything seems to disappear. You're not uh, up here in the, in the normal world. You are without your, your ears. You, you cannot hear anything. Of course, you can hear something, but not the normal sounds. Uh, I close my eyes when I dive, so uh, I don't see anything. I don't smell anything. Uh, I'm not even breathing. It's like uh, you get down to, I don't know, it's, it's like you get down to the essence of something.